Yes. Okay. What about yes, Derkai? Derkai ready? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So back again to our PowerPoint. Uh, have you checked these uh, situations when shot and drill pipe equal zero, but we have shot in casing pressure value? Okay. Please uh, let me check something. Okay. Okay, guys. Have you checked these uh, cases? When well shot and drill by pressure equal zero, but shot in casing pressure have a value? Could you communicate with me? Uh, I think shot in drill pipe equals zero when uh, the drill pipe is filled with the kill mark, as far as I no. remember. I, I say, I say uh, or I ask before, before killing the well, before killing the well. So when shot in drill by pressure equals zero before killing the well. I guess when there is no uh, fluid other than mud inside the system. No, here here is the situation when we have a float valve inside the drill pipe. Okay, so this will prevent the drill pipe gauge from reading the difference between information pressure and hydrostatic pressure. So the value will be zero, okay? Another case, if we have a malfunction, malfunction and the gauge of drill pipe, okay? So the reading will be zero also. Okay, guys, clear? Okay, clear now. Okay, so coming to the second situation, when shot in casing pressure equals zero, but shot in drill pipe have a value. Uh, this time I think there's a packer or something inside that is floating the ambus. Yes, when when the formation packed off around the PHA, around the bottom hall assembly, so same thing will make isolation between the influx and the gauge, okay? So the value of shot in casing pressure will equal zero, but shot in drill by pressure have a value. Also, if we have same thing, if we have malfunction for shot in casing pressure gauge, okay? So the reading will be zero. Another situation, if we shot in the well by closing the bottom rim, so no way for the influx or for the difference between the uh, two flows inside the annulus, okay, to give a reading on the remote shock panel. This is the third situation. Coming to the last one with us, when shot in the real by pressure equal shot in casing pressure. Before, before killing the well. When shot in drill by pressure equal shot in casing pressure. Uh, when the bit is uh, not touching the bottom. Yes, uh, yes. actually not. Uh, yeah. Yes. So when our pet is of bottom, so in this situation, our shot in casing pressure will equal shot in drill by pressure. Also another case, when drilling in a horizontal well, when drilling in a horizontal section, okay? So the height of the influx is so small comparing to the vertical height in the vertical section, okay? So when drilling in a horizontal section, you will find that shot in drill by pressure approximately equal shot in casing pressure. Okay, guys? Okay. 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 Coming here to yes. different okay. situations. Okay. We have here annulus with cutting and the annulus with no cutting, clear annular, only influx. So I asking you, casing pressure will be higher in which of these with cutting or no cutting? Uh, with no cutting, 
with no cutting yes we'll find that casing pressure will be higher cause the cutting make loading on the bottom hole so increasing your bottom hole pressure so the difference will be smaller here when our bit is bottom like this not touching the influx so we'll find that shutting casing pressure equal to shutting the rail by pressure here when the formation is backed off okay so you make isolation for shutting casing pressure so shutting casing equal zero but here shutting the rail by pressure have a specific value okay clear to now clear yes okay now we're gonna talk about gas behavior. Gas behavior has two things to talk about, whether gas expansion or gas migration, okay? So gas migration, so gas tends to move in the well from bottom to top with its pressure. So if gas enters the well with pressure, formation pressure equal 5,000 BSI, it reserve its pressure 5,000 BSI, Till the whole well, till being out of the whole well. So look here. If you look here, we have gas influx just entered the well with formation pressure. So enter with 5,500. So we have here bottom hole pressure 5,500 and the hydrostatic is 5,000. So the casing will be or the surface will be 500 only. Once the gas migrated, till the show or till the middle of the way to be out of the well, okay, well found the same pressure as according to Boyle's law, B1, V1 equal B2, V2. As long as your volume didn't change, so your pressure didn't change also, okay? So here you have the same pressure according to gas migration. So you will find that your bottom hole pressure reaching 8,000, 5,500 plus 2,500, okay? So in this situation, your bottom hole pressure increased by a large amount of pressure. The same thing here when your influx reaches the surface, so you will find your 5,500 pressure affecting all the system, okay? So here you will find that your bottom hole pressure will be 10,500 BSI. Okay, guys, coming to the description. Gas here is lighter than the mud and will try to migrate up the hole. The speed of the migration depends on two things, mud properties, weight and viscosity, and number two will be hole angle. Gas here cannot expand, so will carry formation pressure upward, causing shutting casing pressure to increase, bottom hole pressure to increase, shutting the rail pipe pressure also to increase. So gas migration affecting the whole system. So all pressure in the system will be increased by the same amount. If you look here, starting from 500, okay, then reaching 5,500. So we times the surface pressure by 11 times, okay? And this is too much pressure to the system. And if you look here to the bottom hole, it will increase to 10,500. So increase by 5,000 DSI. So you for sure will break the formation, okay? So according to well control instruction, according to API recommendation, we didn't allow for gas to migrate. Always allow expansion and didn't allow for migration, okay? Coming here to this situation, if we have gas migration, so pressure will be increased from 500 to 600. So to back again to the normal situation, we need to start bleeding from the shock some fluid, okay? Causing the drill by pressure to back again to its normal pressure, 500 PSI. Now we're gonna talk about gas expansion. Gas expansion is much better for us as a wells engineer, as a petroleum engineer, or anyone related to the industry to allow gas expansion. Cause according to Boyle's law, okay, B1, V1 equal B2, V2. 
Once we allowing expansion, so V2 will be greater than V1. Due to expansion, your volume will increase, okay? As long as volume increase, so pressure will decrease, and we see pressure decrease. So here, once the pressure decreasing, we keep our bottom hole pressure away from fracturing pressure. So look here, gas expansion occurs while circulating out of the well. Gas volume increases with expansion, so the pressure will decrease as volume increase, pressure decrease. Then the maximum expansion for gas is nearer to the surface. And here, casing pressure increases while gas expanded due to loss in the hydrostatic. But again, here increase with gas expansion. When gas is passing the shock, bit gain starts to decrease. After gas influx is out of the well, so bit level become steady. Okay, guys. Now here, starting by one parallel for gas influx, then two times two parallel, four parallel, eight parallel, sixteen parallel, then thirty-two parallel at the surface. So you need to imagine how much volume increase starting from one to be 32. So your volume has been doubled 32 times, okay? So you imagine how much the pressure decrease. As volume increase, pressure decrease. So your pressure at the surface will decrease to 32 times, okay? And this what we see during circulating a gas influx or circulating an influx, okay, is to allow volume to expand, so pressure decrease, okay? So not to break the formation at any case. Here, if we have a specific point, for example, casing show, okay? So as long as your influx below this casing show, so the casing show pressure started to increase as the influx below casing show, so the casing show as the influx migrating or expanded, the casing show pressure will be higher. Once you start to passing this point, you passing, okay, present. You passing, so the pressure of the casing show started to decrease, okay? Once your influx is above the casing show, so your influx now is in the casing, so the casing show pressure will stay the same, will stay constant. So look here, as the pressure passes a specific point, so its pressure will decrease as it passes, okay? Not passed. If it passed and passed the symbol, okay? So the pressure will be constant. But if it passes in present symbol, so the pressure will decrease. As long as you blow a specific point, okay, like this, if your casing show is above a specific point, so here the pressure will be increased. Clear, guys? Clear, guys? Yeah, clear. Okay. Yes. Now there is a simple comparison between gas influx in water-based mud and gas influx in oil-based mud. So here, for gas influx in water-based mud, okay, it is easier to detect as no solubility for gas and oil, for gas and water. Here, higher migration rate due to no solubility. Gas stays as separate phase. On bottom, bigger cake size, no solubility. So you will have the whole size of the influx. Higher casing pressure as no solubility. For expansion, it will be slow, then going fast. Coming here to the oil-based mud, gas will be into solution in oil-based mud. Once you have gas influx, while you use oil-based mud, so the gas will be in solution with the oil-based mud. So it is more difficult to detect lower migration rate. Gas go to into solution on bottom smaller kick size due to solubility, small casing depression. For expansion of a gas in oil-based mud, no expansion first, but after some time, it will be very fast at the bubble point. Once you're passing bubble point pressure, 
So gas is started to be separated from oil at higher rate. Okay, guys, clear? Clear. Okay. Yes. Okay. Coming here to show pressure. Our show pressure for gas cake and for oil and water cake. For gas cake, casing show pressure will be higher at two cases, at two situations. At initial shot end, you will have greater casing show pressure as the first impact. Case number two, when the top of the influx reaches the casing show, if this casing show and the top of the influx just reaches the casing show, so this is the maximum pressure for casing show due to the larger rust in the hydrostatic below casing show. But coming to oil and water with gas kick, okay? But coming to oil and water kick, sorry. So at initial shot in the same thing, you will find maximum show pressure. Case number two, when pressure change due to annular size change. As long as annular size gets smaller, okay, gets smaller, so your height gets bigger, okay? So you will have higher, higher hydrostatic pressure loss. So you will get higher casing show pressure, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Here, if shot in casing pressure exceeds the mass, but shot in, then formation will break down. Coming to the horizontal well, as we mentioned, as the influx in the horizontal section, so the height of the influx will be smaller, okay? So the shot in drill pipe pressure will approximately equal the shot in casing pressure. But once this influx moved to the vertical section here, okay? So you will find that shot in casing pressure suddenly increased, but shot in drill by pressure stay the same, according to the change in the height of the influx. So here, while we drilling in a horizontal section, you will find that shot in drill by pressure equals shot in casing pressure. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Now it is the end of our B and B part for today. Okay. So we need to have a practice, have some exercises. So you have your exercise book now. Guys, you have your exercise book now. Yes, we have. Okay, so you are ready now to solve some exercise and uh, check the answer with you. You have time now, guys, for solving some exercise and checking the answer with me. Guys. You have time now to solve some exercise and check answer with me. Or taking them as a homework. Did you hear me well, guys? Guys, Terkai, Yunus. Anil, did you hear me well? Yes. Okay, so you have time to solve some exercises now or take it as homework. Uh, sorry. I need to get them as uh, homework, please. I don't have yeah. time right homework, now. Homework, please. Is that okay for you? Berkai have no time and Anil have no time. I got no I time right time now, now, actually. You, you know, same thing? I have no time. Okay, okay. I, I just wanted to solve some exercises with you before uh, finishing as a practice. Uh, okay, so 
let's uh, let's uh, open your exercise book please to give you some exercises let me check something one moment please Okay, one moment. Okay, open your exercise book, guys. Okay. Not yet. Mr. Mike, by the way, uh, what is the password for the uh, PDF? Four zeros. Four zeros, okay. Yes. Now open page file. For the index, index page, page file, this one. Log to the shared screen. Yes, I'm on that page okay. right now. Okay, Jonas is the same thing. Jonas is the same thing. Yes, 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 I open. Okay, so guys, we, we need to start solving. Let me... We need to start solving section risk management, barriers, Pressure in air is crossed. Static and dynamic pressures. Top hole. Leak of test and mass. Kick warning signs. Okay. Well shot in procedures. And that will be enough. So from page one to page to page 25. Okay. 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 Let's uh, let's make something, please.